I want to take just a few minutes and talk about Goldman's tonometer. We actually have one in the department. Most people don't realize it. Um, I have problems using the tonal pin for whatever reason. And this is another option. We recently had an ophthalmologist come in the department and states that this was uh, it's very accurate and relatively easy to use. So I thought I would educate everybody on it um, for, uh, like I said, just another option. Applanation tonometry. In tonometry, it's the flattening of the cornea by uh, pressure. Um, interocular pressure is directly proportional to the external pressure and inversely proportional to the area flattened. Here is uh, the uh, Goldman's tonometer. Uh, this is mounted to the slit lamp, um, and this is what it looks like um, in our current state. This piece right here will be, uh, this is non-disposable. You can also see it here on ours. Um, this will be removed and I'll show you what we actually will have in a second. Um, the Goldman's tonometer sits off to the side um, in normal slit lamp use. An example of the tonal pen, which we currently have and currently use. If you have good readings, by all means, continue to use it. Equipment. Now, this is important because there's one piece. This All this equipment comes in a package of 10. So there's 10 clear disposables that you use or throw out between each patient. The mounting head of the clear disposables is black in color, and we save that for 10 patients, and then it gets thrown away. So we have to remember to just throw away the clear plastic and not the whole or the black, the black pod. This is the example of the black pod uh, standing alone. This gets mounted onto the um, uh, Goldman's tonometer. I'll show you that in a minute. Here is the white disposable that we use in between each patient. Again, this is saved for 10 patients. Example of it coming closer, of how to mount it. And then this is the um, what it looks like uh, ready for patient. So if you're setting it up uh, at the beginning of the 10 patients, this is what the head will look like. And the black portion slides right into here. And this is what it looks like close up. That's um, uh, then mounted. There's no lines to line up. So don't worry about that. So before you start, you have to um, anesthetize the eye with um, tetracaine. So a couple of drops in the uh, whichever eye you're going to uh, measure pressures, and I recommend doing both. And then you also need to put in a uh, fluorescein stain in both eyes, um, and you'll see why in a minute. And then the tonometer rests gently on the uh, cornea. So the tonometer comes around, the uh, Goldman's tonometer comes around to the front of the um, slides, uh, to the front of the slit lamp. You turn on the cobalt blue light, open up the aperture of it, and then um, maximize the light going through the uh, back of the uh, Goldman's tonometer. And then you slowly slide it forward uh, to the eye um, until it's gently resting on the cornea and sometimes you have to hold open the patient's eyelids so they're not blinking. And then you look through the binoculars and um, uh, measure your pressure. So there's a little bit of a delay on the video but here is zero. That's zero pressure. And then one is here that would be 10 millimeters of interocular pressure. And then two would be down below. And of course, that's a 20. So each line is 
uh, two. So this would be an interocular pressure of eight, 10, 12, etc. So what you do is you set it up, you put it on one because most patients are going to be around 10 or higher. And, and then you screw the dial here to uh, get your um, inversely uh, C's to line up. Your, uh, and I'll show you a, a picture of this next. And there's actually a video link at the very end. So this is when you take your reading, you see the C forms this nice little line. It may look like this. Prior to this, when it's not, you'll see this line uh, sliding over here, and that will be apparent in the video. I'm going to put this on the slit lamp. This is how to measure the interocular pressure. This tells you exactly what you need to do. Um, it's helpful, so you can review, review this before you actually do it. And then this is the uh, tonometry rings through the Goldman prison, and you can kind of see here. Um, this is how you get it lined up by uh, rotating that dial. The link to the YouTube video, I will also email this out. Thanks for your attention and hopefully we will get maybe an ophthalmologist to come in and give us a class on the whole slit lamp because I know a lot of people actually don't use it and I find it to be a very beneficial device.